So this is going to be a quick unboxing of the Google Home Max. It's just recently available in Canada. Um, it's available in Canada for $4.99 Canadian and available in the US Google Store for $3.99 USD. Comes in this kind of charcoal color, uh, um, chalk color and a darker kind of charcoal color which is kind of blackish dark gray type of color. Um, has all the stuff of the Google Assistant that you can find in any Google Home device. Uh, but it also has like, it's made for kind of really rich audio, like in audio experiences and like really for music lovers, the Google Home Max. So as you can see here, you see Google logo, Google Home Max right here, speaker itself. And then you can see that's how the power will light up. Let's dig inside the box. Quite heavy box. Of all the internals of the speaker and whatnot. There's the Google Home Max itself with this kind of fabric design similar to the Home Mini. As you can see on top, there's some of the microphones. There's around six microphones. Here's uh, where you would, there's a volume kind of slider, or it's touch sensitive surface underneath this kind of label. And then middle is play pause. Um, on the back is where you find the mute mic switch, power port, um, reset button, USB type C port, auxiliary input so you can connect your record players or other type of stuff. Very heavy in size. As you saw here, this is kind of like a kind of almost like, it's like a rubber kind of coaster type of thing. So then. It's not uh, rumbling the surface that it's on. Google Home Max can either be used horizontally or vertically. And if you do it the wrong way, um, the Google Home Max will tell you which um, way to put it on, or it will tell you that it's upside down. So here's the getting started guide, tips and whatnot. And here's the power cord. So yeah, that's it. That's been a quick unboxing of the Google Home Max. So to set up the Google Home Max, it's just like any other Google Home speaker. All you need to do is first plug it in and then it should turn on automatically. As you can see here, here's the LED lights. So wait for it to boot up. It's loading. Now it's turned on. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. By the way, the mic's off. To turn it back on, slide the switch on the... The mic's back on. Yes. To set up uh, Google Home Max, all you need to do is download the Google Home app, log into your account, and then you'll see one device found. You can set it up then. It's found it like to set it up, it's connecting to Max, and then it'll take you through the steps 
connecting to Wi-Fi and that kind of stuff. So now it's connected. Yep, I heard that sound. You can choose where it's going to be located or what not. Like what room the device is in. This also, the Home Max also supports multi room. Uh, so you could create a group with other Google Home devices and then have multi room audio. Or you can have um, two of these Google Home Maxes side by side and use them as like a stereo uh, set of speakers. But the Google Home Max does have dual um, subwoofers and dual tweeters inside it. So it is technically stereo out of the box. But if you want to, like, kind of like a better sound or whatnot, you can um, uh, use two Google Home Max devices. So right now it's connecting the Home Max to Wi-Fi. The Google Home Max it has Bluetooth, Google Cast support, Wi-Fi. It also has that USB-C port and the auxiliary. Now it's saying to get started with the Google Assistant. Um, teach to recognize your voice so it can recognize other people's voices and their accounts because your voice is technically tied to your Google account if you use their voice match thing so then you'll get personal results confirm no thanks uh, continue and now there's a software update So once it's done uh, downloading the software, then you can um, start playing music on it, whether it be from Google Play Music, Spotify, or any kind of uh, music service that's supported by Google Home devices. And you could just do it by using your voice, by saying, hey Google, and then whatever uh, song or service you want to use. So yeah, that's been the setup process for the Google Home Max.